Hi, George here. And in this video, I'll be showing you how you can lighten and add detail onto eyes, enhance the eyes to make them look much, much better. Here's the original, and here's the enhanced version. Much nicer, much cleaner to see. Now, this is actually a very easy project to do. And the first thing we need to do is to get our images for this. I'm just going to delete all of this stuff here, hit the delete key, remove all of that. There we go. Back to our original image. Now, I have two images for this. This is the first one. Let's just enlarge that to fit screen. And we need one more, and we get both of these images over at Pixabay. So let's go over there. And the first image is right here. And click on Download. I'm working with the 1920 by 1280 size. Just choose Download and save that someplace to your computer where you can get that open easily inside of Photoshop Elements. And the second image we're using is this one right here. Black one image of an eye will be using the iris part of this. Same thing, Download. And for this one, get the smallest size here, the 640 by 495 size. Again, download that into the same location that you downloaded the other image, and then open those both up inside of Photoshop Elements. And there you go. I have the portrait open. We'll be using this one as our base. And then the other one is open up in the photo bin, just in behind here. Just drag it up like that and drop it on. We now have both images in the same project. Switch over here to Tool Options. We'll be using this. Now in here, the first step is to come in and copy out just this part of the eye. So I'm going to zoom in on this using the scroll wheel on my mouse. Zoom in like that. Now for this, go up here to the selection tool right here. This is the elliptical marquee tool, which is that one right down here. You want a new selection. I'm using zero on the feathering. Then if you hold the shift and alt keys down, you can drag from center and also drag a perfect circle. And just pull that out so you get that eye in there. Now the eye's a little bit off center as you can see. We can then use the arrow keys on the keyboard to just adjust that just a little bit. And something like that is good enough for our use. It doesn't need to be perfect. And we'll copy this. I'll just use a control C keyboard shortcut for copy. And then control V. And it gives a new layer with just that piece on it. Let's now get this thing positioned. We need to make it smaller and get it over the eye on the left hand side here. Now an easy way to get the positioning in here is to go over here to your guides and drag in a guideline like this and then a second guideline over here for the width of that iris. Now, if you aren't seeing your rulers up here, go up to the view menu and just put a check mark right here, rulers. I'll also make sure that guides is checked as well. We can then take this and bring it over here. It should snap right to that line. There we go. If it doesn't snap, again, go up here to view, come down to snap to, make sure that snap to guides is checked. It should be. Then use the control T keyboard shortcut and let's drag this side in until it gets right onto that guide. You see how the color changes right there? Okay, that's now the exact same size. I can pull it down into position. So it's right about in here. We can then get rid of these guides. Go up to view and clear guides. We're done with that. Let's now lower the opacity on this about halfway. And we can then see where the other iris is. Just line this up on top of the other iris. And it's right about there. That's pretty good. Okay, let's make a second copy of this. I'm gonna right click on where it says layer one. Duplicate layer, choose OK. Pull it over to this side, do the exact same thing, just kind of position that right over that iris. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move things around just a little bit. And that looks pretty good right there. Just want to line up those irises. All right, now the eye is on top of the eyelid and a little bit down here. Same thing on both sides. We need to mask those out. So let's come back down to our first one. Let's hide that eye. There we go. And then on that layer, Go here, grab the polygonal lasso tool. That's the bottom left-hand corner right down here. And let's make a careful selection right along the edge of that eyelid. Just follow along. And with this tool, you click, and then you find the next point, you click, and then you click again. And then Photoshop Elements fills in the lines between your clicks. Now, don't go too fast on this. If you click too fast, it's going to collapse your selection. You have to start over again. So just take your time with this. Back around, come close to the beginning, double click. Here's our first selection. Now go up here, first show that layer. Hit the layer mask tool. Puts a layer mask at that position, and there we go, that's perfect. Okay, same thing for the other eye. Let's go over here. This layer, hide that. We're still on the polygonal lasso tool. Again, make a nice careful selection right along that eyelid. And just carefully find that position. Again, when you pass the iris, come outside and around, get down to the bottom. And then let's do the same thing on the bottom down here. And just follow the eyelid. And then up here and double click. 
Again, same thing, show the new iris and hit that layer mask tool. There we go. Looks real nice and clean. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick here. I wanna have both of these inside of a group. We can then put adjustment layers on that group. But first I think I'm gonna soften up this edge right up here. So it's a little bit hard edge right there, right there. Bottom looks fine. The top's like a little hard edge. Now on the layer mask, if I paint in black, it hides the edge. You can just soften that down. Or you can go over here and grab this tool. This is the blur tool. And I use the left square bracket key to bring that way down in size, kind of like this. And let's go over here and let's just go over that line just a couple of times like that. It just softens that edge down just a touch. So now go to the other one here. This is the left side. Same thing, just a couple of swipes back and forth. Softens that edge. Maybe just one swipe across the bottom just to make sure. Okay, that looks real perfect. Hold down the control key or shift key and select both of your layers. And then you can either make a group by clicking on the new group button right here, or you can use the keyboard shortcut as a control plus G key. And it puts us into a group just like that. Let's open that group up. So they're now grouped. And a little note here for people who like keyboard shortcuts, I normally do these shortcuts, or I mention them here for Windows because most people use Windows. But if you're on a Mac, the control key is the same as the command key on a Mac and the Alt key is the same as the Option key on a Mac. So if I say Control something, for a Mac it's Command something. If I say Alt and a key on a Mac, it's Option and a key. There's our new irises. Now they're not perfect yet. I want to blend these in a bit with the eye, but you see how much more detail we have. Now if I just show how that group, there's without and over here, this is really blurry, almost no detail at all. We brought back in all that detail with these new irises. Now I want to blend these in so that they look better. Let's come down to our first eye right here and change the blend mode to overlay. And here's our added detail. Same thing for the other side, change the blend mode to overlay. There it goes, we've increased our detail. If you look over here, left hand side, if I show and hide that, there's without and here's with. So we have all that additional detail in there now. Let's now brighten the eyes up. And for that, go up here to the group. Then will put a levels adjustment on the group, which will then allow us to do both layers at the same time. So one of the nice things about using groups is you can use adjustment layers on just the group and apply to everything inside the group. So let's now go up and we'll go up to the layer menu, come down to new adjustment layer and levels and choose okay. And here's our levels control. Notice how it comes in on top of the top layer inside the group. So take this and just drag it above the group and it's now above the group. Now right click where it says levels one and choose create clipping mask. And that then clips it to everything inside the group and nothing else. And now we go over here and take this right side and pull this back a little ways. We're gonna brighten those eyes up. I'll put it at about 199. And here's before and after. So it really brightens up those eyes, but in a very natural way. So we've taken care of that. We can then hide the group if you want to. At this point, we've added detail and lighten her eyes much better than before but I'd also like to add a bit more color into the eyes as well. We'll do that as a second stage in here. But first, let's take a fast look at before and after. There's before, there's after, a lot better. But we're not quite done yet. Come down to the background layer. Let's make a new layer above this layer. And then here, I'm going to zoom in a bit. Let's go over and grab our selection tool. Again, come into the middle of the eye. Not on the pupil, notice that her pupil is off-centered, just, just a little bit, but right about here, kind of like that. It looks like it's correct. Hold the shift and alt keys down and pull from the center until you just cover the iris. And I'll fill this with some blue. And I found a blue already over here in the color picker that I like, and it's right down here. If you wanted to just type this in, it's 00BCBE. But you can choose any color that you want for the eyes. But I'll use that one. Grab the paint bucket tool and just click in there to fill that in. And the reason you're still seeing some iris in here and it's not solid is because we're still seeing the layer up above here, the group up above. Okay, click over here, control D to deselect, make a duplicate of this layer, right click, duplicate layer, choose okay, and then pull this over to this side right here. Now we have the same problem with the people going outside of the eye. We can fix that easily enough. Open the group up here. Here's our left eye, and that's the same one down here on layer two. Hold the alt key down, drag this layer mask down to layer two, and that fixes that. Same thing for the other copy here, layer two copy, that's the right side eye. And up here's the top one. Hold the alt key down and drag it down where it says layer copy two. And that fixes that. So we now have those taken care of. Let's just collapse that group. We'll do the same thing here. I'm going to select both of these layers and then control G to put those into a group or click on the group button right there. 
Now on this group, let's blend these into the picture below. And that's a blend mode right here. And it changes to color. So we're now bringing in just the color part of that. See how nice that looks. Now it's a bit too strong. So let's bring down the opacity of that group. Let's bring this back. I'm going to bring it way down to about 30 right there. So it's just a bit more color, but not so much that it looks fake. So that's kind of a realistic color. And this is looking really nice so far. Here's before and after. There's without the blue. Here's with the blue. Looking good. One last thing. We have this highlight right here and right here. I want to make that stronger. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. There we go. And let's go up here to the top. That's our, where it says levels one at the top. Make a new layer right here at the very top of the whole stack. Let's set our colors back to the defaults and then reverse the colors. So you have white in front. Go up here to the paintbrush. And then I have mine set at 17 pixels. It's pretty small as you can see. It's a soft edge brush and that's fine. And then come right on top of that highlight and just tap one time here. Go to this side, right on top of this, and just tap one time there. And that puts a new bright highlight right at that location. Let's now use the control zero keyboard shortcut fit screen. Let's see our before and after. Here's before and there's after. And I think that's much, much better. And there's a lot of steps in this. If you want to get written instructions on how to do this, I have that over in my HTG Photo Coach program. If you don't have access to that, I'll put a link for that right down there in the description. It's really a great tool to use when you're working with video training because it gives you everything in text format. So you can follow through step by step plus instructions in there for all the tools and everything else inside of Photoshop Elements. If you're new to Photoshop Elements and you want to learn a lot more about how to use the program, you know, the whole program complete, the best way to do that is with my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And you'll find that over at my howtogurus.com website. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. Don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified of all my new videos as they come out so you don't miss anything in the future. And I'll see you next time.